In this video, we're going to look at how to use stat key to help either make descriptive statistics or to make graphs. So this is going to be the material from chapter two in the book. So first of all, if we're looking here at stat key, notice that this bar right here says descriptive statistics and graphs. So anything underneath of this heading is going to come from the chapter two material. This is how we're going to compute some of those descriptive statistics we saw in the notes, such as the mean or the standard deviation or the five number summary, as well as how to make graphs. Now the other thing we saw um, in the course notes is we need to be able to, to, to distinguish if we're working with a quantitative or a categorical variable. So if you'll notice here, we've got one quantitative, one categorical, one quantitative, one categorical, two categorical, and two quantitative. So whenever you're solving a problem, you first want to start out by figuring out what type of variable do you have and how many do you have. So we're going to actually start with looking at the one categorical variable. So if you click here, the website is going to take you to a page where you can compute all different kinds of descriptive statistics for a single categorical variable. Now how stat key is set up is right here, always underneath where it says stat key, are going to be all of the preloaded data sets. So if we click down, you'll see these are the preloaded data sets. And if you'll remember from the notes, we looked at a data set that was called cell phone types. And so that data set's actually in here, so we can click on it. And if you'll notice, if you go back and look in the notes, this is very similar to the bar chart that we saw previously. So we have the five different kinds of cell phones. And then we have the frequency at which those people surveyed responded and said what type they owned. Also here, we've got the summary statistics. So notice here, if we look at the count, this comes from that frequency table that we saw in the notes. So what we could do is if we needed to compute that frequency table, we could pull that directly from here. Also, it calculates the proportion for each of the groups. And remember that a proportion is also known as a relative frequency. So also in the notes, we went through and we calculated the relative proportions, pardon me, the relative frequencies, and we created that relative frequency table. Well, again, if you go back and look in the notes, this right-hand column gives you that relative frequency table. Now, the other thing that we can do with descriptive statistics for a single categorical variable in stat key is instead of using one of the preloaded data sets, we could also enter our own data. And so if we click here to edit data, notice here to edit data, the first um, row that you have here says type. So you would write type, comma, and then frequency. This is what's called a header row. And so notice down here, we click data has a header row. And then from here, what you would put in is each of the different types, comma, and then the frequency at which you saw that occur. So for example, let's suppose that I interviewed some people and asked them what their favorite starburst color was. I could write something like starburst, and that would be the type, and then count for the frequency. And so notice this is a header row. Now one thing is whatever name you use here, you can't have any spaces in it. So let's see, suppose that for red, I had 13 people say they liked red. For yellow, I had five. For orange, I had 12, and I'm just making these up as I go. And for pink, let's say we had 20. So notice here I've entered my very own data set. I have told it data has data has a header row. Now also notice there's this option for raw data. What raw data means if we clicked it, what we would be doing is we would write the word red 13 times, yellow 5 times, orange 12, and pink 20. Well that takes too long and we don't want to do that. The only time you would use raw data would be if you were given raw data and you were just copying pasting it in. Now notice if I click OK, it's made that bar chart for me. It's given the summary of the count. So again, this is giving you the frequency. And then it also is going to give you the proportions, also known as the relative frequency. So as far as a single categorical variable, that's how you can find those different descriptive statistics we talked about, as well as make the bar chart in stat key. So next, let's go and look at a quantitative variable instead of a categorical. 
So to get back to the home page in Stat Key, we just click on Stat Key. And now notice the next section, or probably the first one here, is one quantitative variable. So if we were going to work with a quantitative variable, we can click on one quantitative variable. And notice that a similar page was going to pop up. Again, we've got our preloaded data sets here. Now one thing to notice with the preloaded data sets is you'll notice that some of these names are in here twice and then they'll have a 2E or a 1E after them. Well, 2E stands for second edition of the book and 1E stands for first edition. We're working with the second edition of the book. And so again, notice here's all of these um, different data sets. Now remember that one of the data sets we looked at was the Nathan Hot Dogs competition. So that data set's here, so I'm gonna click on it. By default, StatKey is always going to start by giving you a dot plot of the data. But if we click here, we could also get a histogram or we could get a box plot. So StatKey will automatically generate all three of those plots for you when working with a quantitative variable. So in your homework, if your homework gives you a data set and asks you, you know, to create a box plot and then talk about that box plot, well, you don't have to do that by hand. You can come into StatKey and enter your data and then make any of these three plots so that you can talk about them. Notice the other thing that StatKey gives us is over here on the right are the summary statistics. So we get things like sample size, that's how many data points there are, mean and standard deviation. And so again, notice this is a really easy way, you don't have to put this in your calculator, you don't have to do any of these calculations by hand, and you automatically get the mean and that standard deviation you're also going to get your five number summary which is given here. So if you're given a data set and you need to compute some of these summary statistics, StatKey is a really easy way to do this. Now the other thing that's nice is let's say that your homework is asking you a question not about one of these preloaded data sets but you need to enter your own. Well just like with the categorical variable we can do that. If we click on edit data, again Notice that the first row here is going to be a header row. So for the Nathan's hot dogs, we had different identifications. So in other words, we had different years and then the number of hot dogs that the winner ate. So how this data is set up is we've got year comma hot dogs. This is what we call a header row. And so the header row is clicked. The first column is an identifier. So notice here we click first column as identifier. Now we don't necessarily need the identifier, so let's see what happens if we delete the ID column and just have the number of hot dogs. And I've got to make sure that I get rid of all of those commas. Okay, so now notice here I've got the exact same data. There's just no identifier column. So I have to unclick this. And then let's also get rid of the header row. So I get rid of it and I click OK. Notice there's been absolutely no change. So this was two ways that we could enter the same data. So just make sure when you enter your own data, if you have a header row, make sure you click this. And if you have an identifier column, make sure you click here. But you don't have to have either of those. You just have to make sure what boxes you have checked correspond correctly. Now what you always want to do to kind of double check that you've entered your data correctly is you should know how many data points you have. And so you always want to double check that the sample size here matches the number of data points. And so that's a real easy way to check to see maybe you've entered an extra um, piece of data or you've left a piece out. And so again, if you're working with a single categorical or a single quantitative variable, StatKey gives you a very easy way to compute those summary statistics and make plots. When you're doing that, you're focused on this part of StatKey, and you're going to click on the one quantitative or the one categorical variable.